SwiftUI gives us three kinds of gradients to work with, and like colors, they are also views that can be drawn in our UI. Gradients are made up of several components, an array of colors to show, size and direction information, and a type of gradient to use. For example, a linear gradient goes in one direction, so we provide it with a start and end point like this. Linear gradient, with the gradient being a new gradient, and the colors will be an array of white and black, start point dot top, end point dot bottom. The inner gradient type used there can also be provided with gradient stops, which let you specify both the color and how far along the gradient the color should be used. In contrast, radial gradients move outward in a circle shape. So instead of specifying a direction, we specify a start and end radius, how far from the center of the circle the color should start and stop changing. For example, radial gradient, gradient gradient, colors, array of blue and black, center dot center, start radius 20, end radius 200. The last gradient type is called an angular gradient, although you might have heard it referred to elsewhere as a conic or conical gradient. This cycles colors around a circle rather than radiating outwards and can create some beautiful effects. For example, we could write code that cycles through a range of colors in a single gradient centered on the middle of the gradient. Angular gradient, 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 colors, an array of dot red, dot yellow, dot green, dot blue, dot purple, and dot red, and center, dot center. All of these gradients are able to stand alone as views or be used as part of a modifier. You can use them as a background for a text view, for example.